Welcome to the second week of Camp Vooks. I'm Camp Counselor Janae, and I am thrilled to be here with all of you. Did you see all of those amazing badges and activities? Thank you for sharing them. This week, Camp Vooks was all about animals, and after today's read aloud and activity, you'll be able to receive your animal badge. Remember, we'll have a new badge to collect every week, so make sure you follow along with Camp Books for the next four weeks. We hope you enjoyed watching Animals Who Changed the World, Who Said Moo, What Do You Do With a Tail Like This, and Where Does Kitty Go in the Rain? Of all the animals you saw in the books this week, which one was your favorite? You can send us a message in the chat and let us know also, what new facts did you learn about animals this week? Feel free to share those answers and you can ask your grown-ups for help. Today, we have a special book to share with you. It's called 14 Animals That Are Definitely Not an Octopus. Does anyone have any ideas for what it will be about? Before we start the book, let's gather our supplies and talk about the activity that we'll be doing after we'll be seeing how many different animals we can make out of clay or Play-Doh. Fourteen animals that are definitely not an octopus. Here are 14 animals I found. There are many animals here, but I am sure of one thing. None of these animals are an octopus. This flamingo, definitely not an octopus. And this couldn't be an octopus because it is a fox. Here comes a snail that is certainly not an octopus. Is this an octopus? No, it's just a little snake. No octopus here, just a camel. And this is for sure an ostrich. Nothing else. Here is a rhino. It's not an octopus either. And this is just a squid. Definitely a squid. I am very sure this is a regular squirrel and not an octopus. And here is a frog, definitely just a frog. This isn't an octopus, it's a giraffe. And this is totally a monkey, not an octopus. <laughs> Psst. See this praying mantis? I'm positive it's not an octopus. And this porcupine. Actually, this porcupine looks a little funny. I think it might be... It is! It is an octopus! In fact, all of the animals were an octopus in disguise. Go back and look for eight arms and two eyes.
And now it's time for us to do an activity together and collect your week two animal badge. So let's jump in. What did you learn about the animals in 14 animals that are definitely not an octopus? Were any of those animals actually an octopus? This is such a silly book and I love how the octopus could turn itself into many different animals. And we are about to have so much fun with this activity. So for this activity, you'll need a ball of clay or Play-Doh. We're going to start by making the body of an octopus. So I'm going to pinch a little bit off and roll it into a ball. So you can just make a ball out of the clay or Play-Doh to start for the body of our octopus. Next, you'll make the tentacles for the octopus. Can you remember how many tentacles an octopus has? It's eight. So we are going to make eight tentacles. So I will start by taking little pieces about the same size and I'm gonna make eight of those and then I will roll them out into the tentacles. And you can do whatever color of Play-Doh or clay that you'd like. I just like to use pink. It's one of my favorite colors. So now we've got our eight tentacles placed out, but we're gonna actually roll them between your hands like this, or you can roll them on the table like that. However you would like to do it. And you can even use different colors if you want for each tentacle. Let's just have fun with it. I always like to say, with creativity, there are no rules. So just have fun and let's be creative together. Okay, so we're rolling out each tentacle. And you wanna try and get them about the same size, but it's okay if they're not exactly the same. Okay, just two more. All right, now once you have finished your last tentacle, we're gonna make it into the octopus. So I like to start by laying out the tentacles kind of in a circle like this. You can put them close together. And then we're gonna take the body and we're gonna just kind of squish it right on top. And you can even elongate the body to make it more like an octopus head. Remember, there's no rules in creativity, so however you'd like to do it. Now, Using the octopus that we just made, you can shape it into any of the animals from the book. Earlier, I made a monkey and a turtle and even a rhino. You can spend the rest of the day coming up with your very own animals if you like. Just have fun and be creative. And remember, there are no rules in creativity. You can do it however you'd like. Way to go! You've completed your week two activity and can now earn your animal badge. For your animal badge, you're gonna need coloring utensils and scissors. Now I already decorated my animal badge and I cut it out. I can't wait to start next week and earn my next badge. It's going to be so much fun. We would love to see your decorated badges and the animals that you made today. With approval from your grown-up or camp counselor, please share your badge and activities with VUX by tagging hashtag Camp VUX on social media. If you've loved these activities, remember, we have many more activities at VUX.com slash resources. Check it out. This has been Camp Counselor Janae. Thank you for joining us, and I can't wait to see you next week when we earn our creativity badge. See you then!